Okay, Saturday morning in the kingdom, and I have to stay close to the computer because the staff went grocery shopping, okay? So if the skidoo breaks down or she has any problems or anything like that, she'll message me on that Facebook or better known as Drama Book, and then I have to go rescue her, okay? So I have to stay close to the computer, which is in the house. We don't have cell phone up here, so we have set times to be on the computer, which I like. I don't know how people can go along, stop and message and play around on their little handheld devices, you know, and stuff like that. We have set times, that way we can maximize our production outside here for the boss, who thinks we have to work all the time. Okay, but it is warm, and it's getting a little windy, so I have to stand over here so I can read my notes. Oh, I'm doing very well after drinking training beer last night. It's not like that... Uh, the bat's 150 that just hurts the head, eh? Okay, it is minus 4 Celsius, but feels like minus 9, okay? That makes sense. Colder, colder, or whatever, okay? And then for the USA, friends, 25 Fahrenheit, but feels like 16 Fahrenheit. Okay, that's that yo-yo temperature. I don't understand. It's supposed to get colder. The number should drop down, but I don't know. Okay. Another thing here, we're not sure what we're going to do today. We might just wander around so it looks good for the boss. But also, too, with all the drama queens of the worlds and the Karens of the worlds, you know, they want to sue for what happened a long time ago. Okay? Oh, i got to change this around. I'm not totally prepared, maybe because my head hurts. But I grew up, you know, here, can we see that? Should I go closer? Oh, I can see it now. I can even read it on the screen. Okay? I grew up with Smarties, okay? And then they had an ad campaign or marketing campaign, okay? E eat your Smarties, save the red ones for last. But what happens if you're colorblind, like me? So how do I know which is the red ones, right? So I should sue them because I had an emotional childhood because I couldn't find the red ones. And then if I did find the red ones, they weren't red and everybody laughed at me. Oh, the wind's getting up. My little selfie stick it might, have, might have to hold it with two hands. We better check the wind here. Okay, scroll this way. I had to untangle the flag exercise. He was all tangled up. Look at that. He's happy. So we have just enough wind to make the flag a ha exercise happy. Oh, these lips aren't working. It must be that training beer. Maybe I should get some vodka out. Seems like it's Saturday. We can day drink, eh? But oh, back to the Smarties, being colorblind, it was an emotional traumatic experience, right? So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll hire the best lawyer that advertises after midnight and we can sue everybody for my childhood, okay? All right. Well, I better go find something to do or go check on the staff. Maybe the skidoo broke down. She's got all those groceries and stuff like that. She could get robbed, eh? That's just like getting a case of beer at the hotel, putting it in the back of your truck, and then by the time you walk around to get in the truck, the beer's gone. It's running down the street. But that's normal. Oh, well. It's fact of life everywhere in the new world we live in. All right, I better go get some work done. Well, the staff had a little drama at grocery shopping. At 9.22, she came out of the store, put the groceries in the toboggan right here, and then she was attacked by two local career criminals that were drunk and wanted to screw and go for a ride. So she had to fend off two guys. One guy was trying to rip her helmet off her head and steal the screw and stuff like that, which is normal, okay? I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm doing this video to document this is what the crime in the new world is. Broad daylight trying to steal the screw. Okay, if they got a hold of that screw, it'd be destroyed in half an hour. They would smash it into a tree and everything like that. Our $300 in groceries in the back of the toboggan would be gone. And we don't phone the cops. We don't report it because it's a waste of time. The justice system and the cops are useless in Canada. And if that offends you, come and live up here. Come and live in a high crime area where the criminals have more rights than the homeowners or the people that own stuff. You know, I'm being very polite on this, but... You know, welcome to Whoville, welcome to the new world. When your daughter gets attacked at the hotel, or I mean the grocery store, and stuff like that. But she's learned to fend for herself and stuff like that. I will not disclose the full details and stuff, but uh, also too, they broke into the beer store. The beer isn't even there 24 hours. They broke in and stole a bunch. So welcome to Whoville. So, I don't give a shit. We'll make the place famous. But we got things to do. Life is normal. 
Okay, nice and snowy day in the kingdom, but it's nice and warm. Look at my hand. I'm not wearing gloves because I'm working in the caboose. I have to edit that little rant there about my daughter being attacked, eh? Wishing that people slip and fall on the sidewalk might be taken out of context and viewed in different words or whatever. So I just edited it. I cut it short, but the main point is it doesn't matter where you live now. There's crime everywhere. Okay, we're working inside the caboose here because we're out of the wind, we're out of the snow, and it's too warm to work inside the shop on the 39 so the boss will be upset so today's adventure is to get those baseboard heaters wired in and do it correctly so the welder and the welding slate can heat this building up or the caboose i think we'll be switching over to a wood stove because there's no freaking way we can afford propane in the 30,000 btu propane heater that the caboose has had for over 25 years all right it's lunchtime. time to go have some lunch Okay, I'm outside. If you can't tell, have another drink. So the welder's in the welding sleigh there. It has an exhaust stack right there. Okay, it's blowing the exhaust up. So I've closed the door in the welding sleigh so the welder will warm up everything inside and then it starts sucking warm air and it runs a lot better. Okay, so we have the temporary cables strung out to the caboose. But in the past, they ran off the top of this pipe over here. You can't really see, eh? But there's a pipe there. So just like a train, had the connector or electrical cables hanging down, so it worked out pretty good. Okay, quitting time in the kingdom, and I run a cord from the shop, that's the welder plug, over to the caboose. See, we took the plywood off the one window there so we can have some light, but that's the joys of going through the bush. We kind of break windows and stuff. Okay, I put the pail in the box out so I make sure I don't drive over the cords running from the shop because, you know, I could... Forget the cords are there and drive over them. Oh wait, they're black on a white background. Hmm, I wonder why I couldn't see them. Oh wait, I'm colorblind. Okay, one of the joys of the Lincoln welder is it uses a, I think it's a dryer plug. So to convert it to the welding plug, you have to get fancy with all these boxes. So I'm colorblind and I'm playing with electrical so much I could almost be an electrician for a living. Okay, it's nice and warm in the caboose here, but we gotta get the dampness out of the air. I did rip out the 30,000 BTU propane heater, okay? The wood stove's gonna go back in this corner where it was for, I think this caboose was built in the late 1950s, if I remember right. But we just kinda put the wires into place, everything is good to go. So we can come in here tomorrow and splash some paint around because the water leaked there. And we couldn't buy tar for the, during the COVID lockdown, so we just tarped the caboose here. So we got some paint that's gonna dry out in the can, so we might as well splash it around inside here and call it good. Plus this will look good for more filming and making YouTube videos, eh? Out enjoying the northern lights and having fun. Okay, I better go walk the pony. Oh, and I forgot the flag exercise. He's kind of tangled up, but it kind of rained or something today. So everything's got an ice coating on it and it's trying to snow. It's too warm. Okay, now I'll go walk the pony. Talk to you later. <laughs>